Welcome back. So what I'm sharing with you on screen right now are the raw files, the images right out of camera from my outing um, this evening with my camera. And it's worth noting that these raw files straight from camera, there there's less um, saturation and contrast in the images just to preserve dynamic range. So these aren't the final images, the ones I'm happy with. And this isn't what the scene looked like. So make sure you watch the whole video to see how I took these images um, and to, to see my final edits where I really try and um, embrace what the scene really looked like to me. So I hope you like these and I hope you find them interesting and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Well, it's officially fall and I'm on my way to photograph a waterfall. So I'm just following the trail <clears throat> along this beautiful stream here to get to the waterfall, but I'm worried that if I keep coming across views like this, I'm uh, not going to make it to the waterfall in time before sunset. So, although I'm sure there would be an image here if I uh, stayed here long enough and really took it all in, I really want to get to the waterfall. So I think I'm going to hustle on down the trail um, and try and capture the waterfall with some nice fall colors uh, before the sun sets. To be fully transparent, I'm out this evening after work, which I don't normally do. I normally try and film everything on the weekend so I don't stress myself out too much during the week, but I've been super busy and, uh, whoops, uh, I need to post a video in the next couple days and I don't have anything, so I'm doing what I can and there may not be enough time, but I'm hopeful. I'm really, I'm ignoring some pretty nice scenes. Nothing spectacular, but I hope the waterfall's running and uh, that there's some nice leaves because it's gonna get dark in here quite soon. I was panicking for no reason 30 seconds after I filmed that clip. First evidence of the waterfall. And there's some people down there right now, so I actually might try and bring up an image from here. There's a nice vantage point and there's some nice colors too, so you kind of might get some nice colors around the edge of the, the frame uh, and the waterfall in the center, so it could be kind of nice from here. <laughs> there's all kinds of sand in my tripod from last week's video in Prince Edward Island. I uh, tried really hard to clean it, but no matter what I seem to do, I get gunked up, but oh well, so be it. Oops. So I've just framed up a really quick image shooting between some branches. So there's, it's a little bit uh, cluttered, but I'm gonna take the image anyway at 1 15th of a second, uh, F7.1 ISO 160. I'm gonna try it with this lens and uh, I'm also gonna try it again in a moment with uh, a, a longer lens, probably zoom into about 200 mils and see if that gets rid of some of the clutter and uh, it might make for a slightly better image overall. It's certainly a little bit better, but <laughs> there's a branch way closer to the falls than I am now that I didn't see with the other lens and it's kind of obstructing the sight line with the falls. So now I'm trying to <laughs> find a new hole in the foliage to uh, get a clean shot of the falls. It's still not great, but it's kind of interesting. It looks like you're looking through a tunnel and I shot that the same as before with a 15th of a second uh, exposure F7.1 ISO 160 and uh, yeah, I think it's a good image to get the creative juices flowing. onwards to the falls themselves. Ain't here in at least a week, maybe two weeks. So I was a little <laughs> worried there wouldn't be much water flowing, but uh, the falls are quite spectacular. And the shot I have lined up now, I'm still not quite as close to the falls as I can be, um, but I'm looking between two big tall trees, which kind of frame the image up nicely. And I have the camera set up in portrait orientation so that I can show a little bit of the foreground, which are a little bit of a reflection in these rocks down there. There's nice yellows and oranges in the background, and then the main falls themselves obviously are the subject of the image. So I've settled on an exposure of a fifth of a second F10 ISO 160, and I think that gives me a really nice balance of a long enough exposure that there's some movement in the water, 
um, but not so much that it looks like unreal, like totally unrealistic. And I think it's a nice representation of what the falls look like to my eyes. So I'm quite happy with this one. So we're only officially three days into fall or autumn, depending <laughs> what you would like to refer it to. Um, so the, the leaves are all starting to change, but I wouldn't say that we're at the peak colors yet. So mostly the leaves are yellow. There's some reds popping in and out. Um, but I'm really excited as the week progresses because the evenings have been really, really cold. So soon I'm expecting some really dramatic colors and I hope that I can get out with my camera a few times a week in the next month or so to really showcase everything that we've got around here. But look at this. This is why I'm here. These falls are beautiful. I've gotten lazy recently and I carry my camera around like this because I film a lot of stuff with this camera um, and this camera, so there's no point in me always taking it in and out of my bag. But uh, yeah, I'm scared I'm gonna drop something one of these days. So the first image I wanna capture is just the scene surrounding the waterfall. And in particular, there's a tree that's leaning over the river uh, in the background. So I want my camera to be up high enough off the ground uh, to really try and get that in the frame as well. It won't stand out much, but I think it adds a fair amount of interest. And then on the right-hand side of the frame, uh, there's some red leaves as well. So it's gonna be super simple, but the falls are quite nice. There's one dominant area where the, the flow is the heaviest, and then there's like 10 or 12 trickling little falls along the sides. So yeah, the, the falls are really gonna be quite a nice subject for these next few images. I like the composition of the image I've framed up, but I'm a little worried about the dynamic range required because you can see the overcast sky in the background, but as the sun's setting, it's just diffusing the light like crazy. So even though it's cloudy, the sky is quite bright. And then there's also some shadows because the sun's sort of uh, behind the falls coming towards me. But I think in post I can balance it out and uh, I'm shooting once again at a fifth of a second, F14 and this time ISO 200. And uh, yeah, I, I like the composition. Another excellent thing about photography in the, in the fall is an abundance of interesting foreground subjects. And in front of me, as the leaves have been falling upstream and coming down, cascading down the falls, there's a nice big pile that's kind of accumulated here. So I'll see if I can use that as a subject or as the foreground interest, um, but it might be a little too crowded, so we'll see. But if that doesn't work, there are four really nice leaves there right on the surface so there's less of a reflection and a glare. Um, so I'm really confident that I could get an interesting foreground subject here if I get really low with my camera and then have the falls uh, in the background. So the way I have it framed up, um, the leaves are kind of cutting across the foreground. There's some rocks on both sides of the image and then the waterfall itself is sort of smack center, top third of the image and there is a little bit of the bright sky in the image as well, uh, but I think when I crop it, there's enough tree line in the background as well that I can crop the image um, to get rid of the sky, but still keep the nice composition. And just for good measures, in case I can't really crop that image the way I'm envisioning it, I've reframed it a little bit, so now there's no sky in the image at all whatsoever. And I'm gonna take another exposure, same settings, and I hope that this will ensure that I get at least one image uh, with this type of composition that I'm happy with. Oh, this is so slippery. Oh my goodness. This last image that I, I really wanna capture before I head out it's from a different perspective of the waterfall. So before I was sort of shooting directly at it, just a little ways away. But now I'm sort of shooting from the left-hand side. And this allows me to get more of the fall colors in the frame as well. Um, and closer to the falls instead of just in the background. So where I am, there's a nice rock in front of me, kind of anchors the frame. And then there's another log that runs in the frame as well. So it's a nice foreground interest. One thing I'm worried about is 
the leaves and the water not particularly pleasing. Um, but I'm hopeful that the waterfall is interesting enough and the colors are bright enough that it draws your eyes towards them and uh, you're not really looking at the cluttered leaves in the foreground. So I'm shooting this scene at just under a one second exposure, F10, ISO 160, and uh, yeah, it's, it's lovely. I can't say much more than that. It's a really nice image and I'm happy with it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you made it this far, I appreciate it more than you know. And uh, I'll share a couple more bonus images of just really quick snapshots I've taken. Nothing particularly interesting, but yeah, I thought they were worth capturing. And uh, now I need to run home and have dinner because anytime I go out with my camera, I end up taking pictures before I eat. So whether that's breakfast, I'm up before breakfast and then I eat later, or whether it's dinner, I'm out taking pictures and I'll eat dinner when I get home. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I promise the next few fall videos will be better than this. This was quite rushed, uh, but I hope to see you on the next one. Until next time. Thank you.